Hello everyone. Here's my daily vlog number 89 for July uh, 9th, 2022. Uh, what did I get up to yesterday? Well, I got up and I took Sadie out in the morning, but it was raining. Uh, but it cleared up a little bit throughout the day. Uh, then I listened to breakfast with the Beatles. Miss you! And then I went to, uh, then I, uh, I uh, I listened to uh, the Meg Griffin show last night, and um, I went walking with Billy. And I came back and listened to more of the show. A lot, I got a lot of Beatles in, and then I went to um, what's her? I went to uh, Paul Cast stream last night for uh, Mr. Beckham's birthday uh, bash roast, and I I did some uh, Star Wars impressions. Miss Piggy sang Happy Birthday to him, and all that stuff. Uh, hey, how's it going? Nice to see you, Elephant Tinnitus. I pronounced it right, too. That's good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's what I got up to last night. And today I've been sitting outside reading about uh, reading a, a biography on the Beatles called Shout. I'm supposed to be reading my Walt Disney uh, uh, biography, but I'm bouncing back and forth. I've done that before with books. I'm just in a Beatle. I've been in Beatle mode for quite some time in the last couple of days. Don't know why. But uh, that's where I've been up to. So I just took Sadie out for another walk, and I decided, well, I haven't done a daily vlog in a while, so I, I, I thought I'd come in here and do a daily vlog. So uh, there won't be any live stream today because I'm doing it once a week only for now, every Saturday, but there will be no live stream today. Um, I'll be making my comeback next Saturday when I do the interview with, uh, with Paulina, the Angel of Music. So there'll be a pregame show at 5.30 Atlantic, uh, followed, followed by, uh, uh, followed by, um, uh, the, the big, uh, the big event after, and maybe after the, uh, maybe after the, that's over, I might, I might, uh, do a little stream after that, who knows, depending if I, if I have any voice left after all the talking I got to do. So the next couple of days, I got to prepare. I got to write notes. I got to write some uh, questions down. What I want to ask her, and what what special questions I want to ask about her her musical career and stuff like that. Um, it should be interesting. So this will be my first interview ever. I'm excited about it, and uh, I'm I'm so happy. So no stream today because I got to think of things. I'm trying to formulate a an idea in my mind what what I'm going to ask her and how I'm going to go about doing this because remember I've never done this before so but I'm excited to do it even though I'm nervous I can do it I know I can and I'm happy about it uh, you know I gotta try different things on my channel so I'm putting this under my belt too so it should be a it should be a fun a fun evening and uh, I know you'll all be there to support me and I talked to JJ. He's he's out of camp, where his daughter Allison is a is a counselor there. So he spent his fiftieth birthday there because he emailed me this morning, saying he watched my video and he loved it, but he couldn't comment because he lost his phone. But then he got it back again. So I'm happy he got it. He got his phone back. So that's where he is now. So I'm happy I finally heard from JJ. I was worried that that he was not doing so well, but I'm glad he's doing good. Uh, so, uh, wow, a lot of people celebrated birthdays yesterday. It's amazing. A lot of birthdays on the same day. Uh, I'm having a great day, Dave. Having a great day. There, if you're just joining us, um, there'll be no uh, no live stream today. There'll be one next Saturday when I make my comeback with my debut of my first interview. Uh, so uh, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. But there's one thing this author of the Beatles book I'm reading called Shout. Let me let me get it for you. I'm right here. I can show you it. Uh, by Philip Norman. There's one part of uh, John's childhood he 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 left out that was very important because Freddie, uh, his his father wanted to take him on a on a trip 
but not come back. He wanted to take him to New Zealand. And uh, so he took him to Blackpool and his, his, his mom, Julia, followed to find them. And, uh, and he told of his plans, what he wanted to do with, with John. And so he was asked a question. He was only five years old and he had, and he had to make up, the, hey, Ed, how you doing? He had to make up his decision, his own decision, what he wanted to do. Who do you want to go with, daddy or mommy? And he said, daddy. And then when his, when his mom was running off, I want to stay with you. And that's when Aunt Mimi came in and took him in. They forgot to put that in. That's the most important piece of, of history that this book did not have. And I caught that because I'm a big Beatles fan. So I know the story pretty well. But this is told from a different view. Uh, there's stuff I didn't know so far. I've only read the first two chapters. I just got to the part where Paul's part of the band now. So we're going into 1958 in chapter three. So um, that's that's as far as I've, I've gotten so far. But it's pretty interesting, you know. If you love the Beatles, I guess you'll love this book. But I'm not doing a book review yet because I haven't finished it. But but that's a, an important piece of history that uh, he forgot to put in there. But it's still good. Yep, the Blackpool Luminations. Yep. Well, this author forgot to do his homework on that part, but so far he's got everything else right. So I'll give him kudos on that. So um, I hope you all have a, a, a lovely rest of your day. And um, so you, you'll get daily vlogs from me during the week and the next couple of days as well. So don't worry about that. Uh, and I got a lot of homework and preparing to do for the, for the big event. So, um, as I say on my channel, Beatles forever. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.